Hello students, welcome to MIT 22033 Visual Programming Lesson 2 Lab Practices. Practice 1 is uh, an invoice total application where we are supposed to have an application that takes subtotal of uh, an amount or purchase and uh, enter the let the user to enter the percentage discount uh, and then calculate the discount amount and net total that is payable for this purpose we will uh, use our visual studio application and uh, here as you can see there are uh, four controls used four controls used you can see here you can see uh, there are four controls uh, used from uh, label control one two three and four label controls and then uh, text box here we have a text box text box another text box and four text boxes and uh, two buttons we are going to use so altogether there are four label controls and uh, four button uh, text boxes and uh, two buttons are used as you can see the first text box is uh, used for taking the input of uh, uh, subtotal and the second one is for uh, taking the input of uh, percentage and then fourth and fifth uh, text uh, fourth uh, third and fourth text boxes are uh, for displaying the discount amount and uh, the net amount net total payable the first text box has been uh, given uh, a name uh, subtotal text box and second one is discount percent text box third one is discount amount text box and fourth one total text box the buttons are given name as uh, calculate button and uh, exit button form has been given a text property that is invoice total the labels text property is a subtotal discount percent discount amount and total these are the settings plus uh, the button text also set it is uh, calculate and then exit these are the settings given so now we will uh, see how we can uh, design this in our uh, visual studio application and then add functionality to the form and uh, let's see how it works we will give it a name practice one practice one and uh, chapter 2 exercises give it a click the form is ready and I'm going to add the controls four labels four text boxes one two three and four and two buttons let me arrange the controls I'm going to display the properties window I'm setting the label uh, text properties subtotal discount percent next is a discount amount and then total total so let us uh, make it as compact as possible the second text box and third text box and the last one is total text box I'm dragging my mouse over these and bringing my cursor here it says make vertical spacing equal so that uh, if I click uh, the space between these controls are going to be equal and now I'm aligning the text box to make the text appearing in the text box in uh, line with the text appearing in the uh, label okay so next I'm going to give name for the text boxes please uh, make sure I'm uh, not going to 
I'm going to make sure I'm not going to st uh, type anything here in the text property of the text box control. Rather, I'm going to browsing through the name property and I'm setting the name subtotal text box. Text box. Next one is discount person discount person text box. Then comes a discount amount text box. The last one is a total text box. Fine. And then I'm going to set the uh, buttons. Here it is a exit button. And then this is uh, going to be a calculate button. Calculate button. The text property of the buttons also have to be set uh, calculate calculate and this is going to be exit I'm clicking on form control and setting its property as invoice total I'm making the form little uh, narrower and I'm decreasing its height here you see we have three uh, controls, button controls available, uh, control, close button or exit button, close or exit button and minimize or uh, maximize or restore button and minimize button. So I'm going to make this minimize box disabled and maximize disabled so that we have only the close button visible. Now I'm going to set the uh, tab order property for these tab order. In uh, only two controls, the uh, text controls we are going to have a uh, text box, we are going to have tab order and then buttons. For these, we are going to stop the tab order. I'm switching off these and I'm selecting uh, the discount amount text box and I'm going to see tab stop. It is reading as true. I'm going to make it false. The total also false because we are not going to enter anything there. And then we are going to see the enabled property here made to yeah it's fine and I'm going to see these uh, total enable faults now let me start this project and run the project is starting you can see these two boxes are grayed out which means they are disabled not enabled so we can work only in these two text boxes i'm uh, pressing the uh, tab key on the keyboard you can see how the tab is moving i'm closing this now i'm going to double click on this calculate button to add functionality to these uh, calculate button and uh, exit button I'm going to declare variables uh, to hold the values so decimal we can go for decimal or double we can make it a double to make our life easier subtotal equal double dot parse subtotal text box dot text next uh, double discount percent discount percent equal double dot pass discount percent text box dot text since it is a percentage we have to convert it to percentage we are going to divide it by 100 can see it is a uh, hundred and then uh, we are going to calculate the discount amount double discount amount I'm going to make sure it is camel cased equal subtotal multiplied by discount percent then uh, the decimal not decimal double you can go for double 
total in a sense net total equal subtotal minus discount amount so we have uh, taken the input from uh, subtotal text box and then we have taken the input from uh, discount percent text box and then uh, we have uh, calculated the uh, discount percentage and then we are calculating the discount amount by multiply the subtotal by uh, discount percent and then we are calculating the net total payable by subtracting the discount amount from subtotal so input is taken process is done now it's time to display the output to the text boxes so we have the first text box uh, discount amount discount amount text box text box to text equal discount amount amount dot to string and we are going to display as a number then uh, net total now total text box dot text equal net total dot to string n2 also we have to make sure the uh, discount percent is also displayed as uh, in, in, in a percentage format before that uh, let me run this project and uh, show you how it is displayed subtotal we can see 10,000 discount percent is 15 and I'm clicking calculate button here you see test 10% 10 of 10,000 is 1,500 and uh, 1,500 deducted from uh, 10,000 is equal to 8,500 but uh, the amount we entered uh, inside the percent still it says uh, 15 so we, we would like to make it as shown 15 percent so let me do this I'm clicking here and I'm going to show this by discount percent text box discount percent text box dot text equal discount percent dot to string and now I'm going to say it is uh, it has percent for P for percent and one for single digit of the rate. Let us run this. 10,000, 15. Here you see. And you might have seen whenever we load the form, it starts in the corner somewhere not in the center if you want to make sure it is starting in center what we have to do is we have to go to its design property design view and then go into its properties browse to startup position and make a center screen selected save the works start the project you see it is starting from the center 20% done now I'm going to give the code for exit button this dot close run the project click on next it exits now we have uh, done the project uh, the application takes subtotal and discount percent then then can calculate the calculates the discount amount and shows the user the net total payable thank you very much for watching this video please practice this and we will uh, meet in another video thank you